In this video, we're going to walk you through how to create an assignment within Canvas using a PDF. So in this video, we're going to show you how to create the assignment using a PDF. And then in part two of this video, we'll show you how your students can actually go in and complete the assignment that you've created by typing or annotating, highlighting, marking up uh, different items on a PDF. So the first thing you'll notice is we're at our module screen inside of our Canvas course. And we're going to go in and we're going to create an assignment. And when we create the assignment, we're going to create it as a PDF assignment. So I'm going to select the module in which I want to create the assignment in. So in this example, I'm going to create it in the EL module, Unit 1, Lessons 1 through 4. I'm going to choose from the drop-down menu the assignment, and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Cami Example Assignment. And the reason I'm going to call it Cami Example Assignment is just for this example, we're utilizing a tool called Cami. Cami is the tool in which allows the teachers and the students to mark up that PDF. So we've created the assignment, just like I would with any other assignment. If I were creating a Google Docs assignment or if I was creating a text box entry assignment, I've got the assignment created. Then I click on the assignment itself, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit the assignment. Click the edit button in the top right corner. When I edit the assignment, you'll see that I get my rich content editor. Based on all the different videos and things that you may have learned already, this rich content editor you should be somewhat familiar with. This is where you would provide the instructions for the assignment. So I'm just going to type in instructions for assignment. Go in this box. Of course, this is where you could embed the um, you could embed the YouTube video or more directions and things like that here within the the box. So anything here, resources and things that you want your students to have access to, they'll go here. In this example. Our PDF doesn't go in this box. I'll show you where the, we're going to embed that PDF in just a minute. You scroll down here and you're going to select the point value. So let's just say this is going to be 100 points. I want to display my grade as a percentage. And then right here at submission type, this is going to be the, uh, the big part that I want to make sure that everybody understands so that you can upload this PDF as an assignment. So from the submission type, we're going to choose external tool. So this is very similar so far as to how you would create a Google Docs cloud assignment. We've gone through the same exact steps. The difference is when I click find here, instead of finding the external tool called Google Docs Cloud Assignment, I'm going to find the external tool called Cami Google Drive Assignment. As it says, this allows you to pull in documents from your Google Drive and send them as an assignment, turn them in, and grade with Cami. Uh, as I said before, Cami is going to be your tool that allows you to mark up and edit the PDF. So we're going to go in here and it's going to ask you to select the PDF that you want, that you want to upload into your assignment into Canvas. So I know I've worked with this one recently. It's connected to my Google Drive. I'm going to select the PDF that I want and insert it into the assignment. If you had not authorized your Google Drive yet, this would be the screen in which would show up to have you authorize your Google Drive. As long as you see your Google Drive, that's where your PDF needs to be stored. If your PDF is not in Google Drive, you can simply move it into the Google Drive storage platform. And then when you sign in and go to create the assignment, it should show inside of your Google Drive. So I know that I've done it correctly because I see a URL here. And I'm going to now hit select once I've selected the PDF. The rest of the assignment here is just specifics to assignments that we've covered in previous videos. This is where I want to allow unlimited attempts, or I could choose how many attempts that I want them to have access to. Do I want to assign it to everybody? Do I want to give it a due date? Those kind of things. So in this example, I'm just going to click Save. And when I click Save, you'll notice, just like in our Google Docs Cloud assignment, a PDF loads in this example. And so once the PDF loads, I know that I've done it correctly. So now, as the teacher, I've created the PDF. I've put it in there as an assignment for the students to be able to mark up and edit. And now in the next part of the video, we'll show you how students will go in and mark up and edit and work on this PDF right within Canvas.